So hi, Piotr. We're hi. here at uh, PolyEnd. You've got another new tabletop device, right? Oh yeah, we've been waiting quite a while to, to show it to you. And there we go, it's called PolyEnd Play. And uh, this is a groove box. This is a uh, very sophisticated MIDI sequencer, but also this is a very nice performance tool. And we've put a lot of research and development into it in order to make it easy to use. So the interface is uh, uh, quite easy. You can start working with this machine without even having a glance in the manual. Um, we also put tons of features that will kickstart your compositional flow and uh, will also allow you to finish your song. So instead of me talking, maybe this one should talk, so I'll just give you some, some examples of those uh, cool new in innovative tools. So I'll start with uh, this view, which is the, the, the pattern, so every green thing is uh, occupied pattern, so I will just go to the unoccupied one and start from scratch. And maybe I'll start with, uh, with picking the sound. By the way, this is audio when you see green, and you have eight tracks, but also if you see purple, it means that I'm in the MIDI, MIDI option and those are polyphonic MIDI channels as well. So we have like 16 tracks in total. How, ma how many no, uh, polyphony? It's up to seven. Okay, brilliant. For now, it's just you pick the, the chords. So you've got different scores preloaded, but then later, later on we'll implement the thing that you will be able to send from external or internal input uh, the notes into the one step. Let's focus on, on, on the audio part though. So we've got eight tracks and up to 64 steps. The right section is for muting, soloing, entering the variations. I will uh, let you know about them a little bit later. And then you've got the selection tool that selects all the tracks. So the workflow goes like this. You pick and place. So you've got some folders of things like bases. Maybe let's go for stops. I've got different stops and I'll place them wherever. It's not, each of the track is like free. It's not glued to any of the sound or type of sound. So you can have a kick here and there, if you will. Uh, total freedom and uh, this also gives, brings some, some cool actions. So for example, I will just populate different stops on, on this lane. Randomly, and maybe for this one, I'll change the note. And for this one, I'll add reverb. And you immediately hear the changes, which is kind of cool. All right, we've got kind of the melodic part. For the beat, I will use this magic function we call fill beat. And you've got tons of presets for genres. So I like to make it maybe a break beat. When I hit fill, it populates kick, snare, and hi-hat. And then it randomly takes um, the sounds from your folders. If I like the sound, I can leave it. If I don't like it, I hit fill again. Whenever I hit fill, it just randomly picks the, the samples from the folders. Uh, so let's stick to this one. And for the last part, I will just, maybe just do this and choose it. By the way, uh, I'm now picking and placing and then selecting things. I can select different, uh, differently. Like first thing is just hold shift and select like one by one, but also we can do it uh, holding the diagonal of thing and then uh, do it additionally or like, you know, uh, deselect something and then for this selection, change the qualities of, of the sounds, which can be like notes, uh, samples, uh, some effects, uh, chants, action. That's actually a cool combo I will show you in a minute. Repeat, uh, sample attack, sample start, you know, everything you need to, to mangle the, the samples. If I deselect it and just select by tracks, I will select the last one. I can switch it to some different sounds, I'll go for the perks. There is too much reverb, so I'll just delete the reverb, okay. We've got the perks here, and now I will use the random function, randomize function, where I can, where I, where I have a different randomization types. So for example, I can randomize my samples within the same folder. 
right? So the system did it for me. If I like it, I can save it. If I don't like it, I can uh, randomize it once again. I can go out of the um, folder and then just randomize within whole pool. Right? But for this one, I'll just play with the space, meaning panorama left, right, a little bit of delay and reverb here and there. So let's hear it. Yeah, that'll do. I hit save. I have it here. I can apply more randomization and do it on and on and on. Uh, and now I will just live rec go to live rec. It means that whenever I will just dial in the values, it will record the automation. So let's start playing with that. Maybe a little bit of cutoff too. A little bit of resonance. And the notes. And let's hear it in the context. Not bad. And then this is your one pattern, right? So if I go to this page, I can like quick copy it holding this one. It becomes purple. You just quick copy it to some other places. So then I have like exactly the same instances of the same pattern. I go to another one and I'll just select everything and switch the sample for something else. Right, so this is my another pattern. For this one, I'll go like heavy with the with the filter cutoff. Right, and for the last one, I will just detune it, just randomly, blindly, and uh, add some differences in the samples. Right. So now you've got like four different patterns. You can play play them live, and they will uh, change from one to another sequentially. You can also do it without a wait, uh, need to wait by the end of, of the sequence. So hold shift and like immediately change them. But also what's cool is that when you hold shift, you can play song. Then it becomes a chain, it becomes a chain and it will just switch from one to another automatically. So if this is my one chain, I can have another here, another there, and just like make a song on the fly, or just make a one big chain of things, of the patterns that will play one after another making the song. Uh, if we go deeper into the pattern, there are also 16 variations of each track. So if this is my, my, my first variation, I'll just make the another one and maybe I'll just feel different beats. Let's go for drum and bass here again blindly in a fast manner for the demo sake. Let's go for, for some house. And then let's go for some IDM thing. Okay, and let's see what we get. And I can mix and match the variations. It does not have to go lane by lane. So we can imagine uh, that these are kind of clips from Ableton and I can, I'm can i launching the clips, but I can also launch whole scene, just hold this one and then the whole scene of eight variations of audio, but also eight variations of MIDI would be uh, launched uh, and at the same time. Right, so um, there is also a perform mode and for the perform mode we prepared plenty of uh, cool colors and each color means that there is different uh, different effects so we have like tune filter cutoff high pass low pass overdrive each step is a different value this one is cool it's called rearranger so if I just focus uh, on the um, uh, first three tracks which is the beat if I hit one of those I'm making like variations on the fly, but if I do not want to, uh, if I mess something, like let's deliberately mess it up, like. I totally messed it up. Hit perform once again, you're on the safe side, so uh, you're back to the, to the, to your original stuff. And then being in the performance mode, you can uh, go to the variations, you can switch to the different patterns. So it's 
quite fun way of performing and I guess there are better per there is better person to to give you like a musical possibilities of this unit so uh, I, I'd like to introduce Martin who will make a, a proper performance for you so um, just before we move on to the performance right um, is it available now or it's available for pre-order now so we can uh, do it on our website or or in your good shops around and uh, we are shipping it in two months it's being manufactured now all the bits and pieces are in our factory so we are good there uh, and uh, what was the price point? yeah the price is 799 in euros and dollars brilliant uh, Piotr thank you very much my pleasure